presidential candidate. Uh, Governor, good to have you with us. Thanks for joining us today. Pleasure to be with you. So tell me a little bit about uh, that comment that you made over the weekend. And we played it in its full context. Uh, I know you felt that in some cases it was taken out of context. But if it was misinterpreted, explain to us what you meant in that. Well, Martha, every Republican voter I've ever come in contact with, whether they're strong for Trump, lukewarm, or anything in between, wants us to stand on principle when you get elected or if you're involved in this process. And I think one of the big problems with our party for many, many years is people say they're going to do certain things and then don't end up following through. And so at the end of the day, it's what are we delivering for the people that have put us into office? And in the state of Florida, I can say uh, that I have delivered more for America First principles than anybody else in the country. I mean, we've prohibited the, the CCP from purchasing land. Uh, we've cracked down on illegal immigration, expanded Second Amendment rights. We got indoctrination uh, out of our schools. We have universal school choice and our crime rates out of 50 or low because we've done things like remove Soros-backed district attorneys. So that it's about results. And I think what you've had, the people in Congress that I was referring to that have attacked me and tried to say somehow that, that I was a rhino, uh, they're putting entertainment and personality over principle. Uh, our voters want us to stand on principle and fight for them. What do you think about the fact that the former president is not going to be on the debate stage next to you and you won't get a chance to put this directly to him? Everybody should debate. Everybody has a responsibility to earn people's votes. Nobody is entitled to anything in this world, let less of all the Republican nomination for president. Uh, so I'm going to be there. I'm going to be making the case. And this is really a great opportunity because I don't think very many people over this summer have been following it that closely. I think this is going to be the first time where candidates are going to be able to speak unfiltered uh, to a, a, a large number of Americans. And so I'm going to make the case that under Joe Biden, this country is in decline. We need to send Biden back to his basement in Delaware and reverse the country's decline. And I'm the guy that can do it. I've proven it in the state of Florida. Uh, and I won't let people down as the next president.